We are so ready for vacation. Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and every Saturday I share a grocery haul for my family and this week we are actually heading out on vacation. So we're gonna be gone for several days, almost a week. So we definitely stocked up and we are going to a lake house. So we've got a full kitchen and all of that. We won't be doing any eating out. We're gonna be staying in. We have our own personal lake access with a little beach area and boat ramp. So this is definitely the safest vacation that we can take during this time. So I went ahead and got a bunch of fun things. We are going to be with my parents and my brother, his girlfriend and her children. So we're gonna be having several people that we are feeding and snacking and all the things. So I picked up a lot of goodies. So let me go ahead and show you guys. Picked it all up from Walmart. I did go in the store. That way I could make sure I found what I needed and pick my own substitutes. And it was about $360, I believe, maybe like 362 and change. So we'll just say 360 for easier purposes. So let me go ahead and show you guys everything that I picked up. I've got a table full and then some drinks and all the things. So down here, I did pick up some donuts and these are going to be for the morning that we leave. That way I don't have to do any dishes. We'll just put these on a napkin or a paper towel or something and call it a day. So went ahead and picked these up and then whatever we don't eat, we will be leaving here for our house guest who's staying at the house watching the dogs and all of that. So went ahead and got those and those donuts look pretty good. I think my kids are gonna be excited to see that. Drinks that we are taking on vacation. Our favorite beer is Blue Moon. So I did get a case of that and we like the Belgian white. They do have several different flavors, but the Belgian white is definitely ours. Then my husband was like, yo, vacation. I mean, really as a parent, you never get a vacation when you're taking your kids with you, right? So he requested some monsters because he knows we're gonna have several late nights and tons of fun and we're just gonna be super tired and he enjoys these. So I got the 10 pack of the Monster Energy Zero Ultra. All right, my oldest daughter and I both enjoy sparkling water, so I got these. Oh, and if you guys watched my last week's haul from Sam's Club, I did pick up a case of sparkling water and a case of Coke, but it's more convenient to take these when you're going on vacation and packing it in your car because we are driving, we're not going very far at all. Well, versus taking, I mean, that was like a 35 pack, so I would have to take the individual can. So this is just more convenient and we'll definitely have a really light week, week next week. You guys will see <laughs> next week's grocery haul is pretty slim pickings. So, well, slim pickings as far as from the grocery store, not from my house, we are set. So I went ahead and got two cases, the lime and the cherry, and there's eight cans in each. Then I did go ahead and get another sparkling water, but this one is lightly caffeinated, like I said. We need the caffeine. I mean, for me, that's just part of my mom life, being caffeinated. <laughs> so I got this one. I don't know if I've tried the cucumber pear before, but I have tried this brand, the Limitless. So there's zero sugar, zero artificial ingredients, and zero calories. So I did go ahead and pick that up. There's eight cans in there. And then my go-to afternoon drink is the Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, and there's 12, that's a 12 pack. So those are the drinks that we are going to be taking with us. Okay, now I just have a small little section up here here of non-food items. So whenever we go out of town, like within driving distance, I like to take baggies to bring home leftovers and things like that. And that way I'm not taking up a whole lot of room in our cooler with Tupperware, bowls, and that kind of thing. It's just easier using baggies. And I always get the freezer just because I do prep a lot of things for the freezer. And I like to put leftovers in the freezer if I know we're not going to use them. So instead of buying the regular baggies and have to transfer them later on, I just always buy the freezer one. So this will last me quite a while because there are 40 in there. All right, and then I picked these shoes up for myself. I was looking for a cheap option of slide-ons. That way I don't need to take my nicer flip-flops, my yellow box flip-flops, um, and risk losing those or like them flying off the boat or you never know. <laughs> me walking into the water with shoes on, me forget to take them off or whatever and they get 
stuck in there and they float away. Who, know, who knows? So I went ahead and picked myself up a cheaper option. These are pretty nice though. It's Athletic Works with memory foam. And I'll go ahead and tell you guys how much they were. They were $9.98. And then the last non-food item I picked up were these Glove Bubbles. I actually have picked these up the several, uh, the past several summers and my kids really enjoy them. And these were in the clearance section. So I don't know what they are normally. I think they ended up ringing up for like a dollar sixty, maybe even a little less than that. But I got seven of them because there's going to be seven kids there. And basically, it's just a glove with the animal print on it. I got several different ones. And it also comes with a bag with bubble solution in it. And you stick this little glove in the bag and then you just wave it around. And these holes right here hold the bubble solution and they make all sorts of different size holes. So the kids really enjoy that. Just something quick and fun for them to do because there's rain in the forecast while we are at the lake. <laughs> so we do have a nice little covered porch area and this will just be something for the kids to do to get outside and not be stuck in if it does happen to rain for long periods of time. All right, that's it for the non-food. Now we're gonna go over the produce and I'm actually going to be meal prepping a lot of this stuff and you guys should see that on Monday. So this is posting Saturday and on Monday you guys will see the meal prep for what I'm doing to take to vacation because I don't want to be spending any extra time in the kitchen. I want to be enjoying myself and not feeling like I'm having to prep a whole bunch of stuff for everybody. So we're going to go ahead and do a meal prep and I'm going to share that with you guys. So I got an eight pound bag of jumbo baking potatoes, two little bunches. Well, these aren't little, but two bunches of cilantro, four jalapenos. I've got a pint of grape tomatoes and these were actually cheaper than the cherub tomatoes, the same exact size and all of that. So I did go ahead and opt for the organic ones. Back there, I've got a little small six ounce package of raspberries just for an extra fruit option. Then I have a head of lettuce and you're gonna see I've got several convenience items. I went ahead and got the shredded lettuce and this is gonna be for tacos. This is for sandwiches and burgers. I got five, I think is there. It's about one pound of Roma tomatoes, a bunch of celery, a bunch, one bunch of green onions, some bananas, three cucumbers because my kids could eat cucumbers every single day. So I want to make sure I have enough of a vegetable option for them. And then back there in that orange box are six little personal size cups of the holy guacamole and I got them in classic and that's just going to be for snacking with chips or veggies or also for our taco night. Okay, I got a bag of the mini sweet peppers and then typically I get the baby carrots when we're doing any kind of like a veggie tray with dip. But this time I saw the chips and I was like, oh, that looks fun. The kids might enjoy just, you know, switching it up a bit. So I did get that. Two large watermelons and that definitely won't even last us the whole time, but I know the kids, all of the kids will enjoy having that. I've got two red bell peppers, three green bell peppers, one red onion, and eight large tomatoes. And then this basil stir and paste is actually something that my oldest daughter requested. I'm not sure what she's making, but she said she needed some basil paste. So I picked that up for her. All right, and now all of the goodies, all the other goodies. So I saw not too long ago, Kim over at the Wads, she made this dessert for when they went on vacation, I think, and they were going to the beach and it was cookie dough on the bottom and she put it in a like nine by 13 pan, but it was cookie dough, Oreos, and then brownie. And I was like, oh, that sounds good. My kids aren't huge on the Oreo, but they love peanut butter cups. So. I am going to do the same thing just with a little twist. I'm gonna make them in muffin tins. I'm gonna make 24, so that's enough goodies. If the adults want some, the kids want some to last several days, hopefully, if they don't get all eaten quickly, but if they do, whatever, we're on vacation time. So I went ahead and got two packages and again, convenience. So two packages of the chocolate chip cookie dough that I'll put on the bottom and then two packages of the peanut butter cups. So there's 12 in each of these that'll go in the middle. And these are the perfect size for muffin tins or cupcake tins. And then two packages of the fudge brownie by Betty Crocker. This was the cheapest one I could find. Again, I was just going for a cheap, quick, easy, and convenient dessert, but hopefully you guys will be seeing that in the upcoming meal prep video and hopefully they turn out, but that sounds super yummy. Like all the yummy goodness right there. 
Then I'm making a vegan dessert for my oldest daughter. So normally I get the Lily's chocolates, but they don't have those at Walmart, but these are vegan, the Simply Delicious Dark Chocolate Morsel. So I did pick that up. A little quick snack for the kids. I got the cotton candy Danimals. So again, I did pick up Danimals smoothies from Sam's Club, but they are all individually in that big container. So this is just super easy, contained. I could just put it in our cooler and get on the road and I don't have to worry about them falling over or anything like that. So I did, and it's a different flavor. Um, they don't sell the cotton candy in the big pack. So I went ahead and got that. Okay, I was looking for the Fiesta Ranch, the dry mix packet, and then I was gonna buy some sour cream. And they were completely out. And then I saw this. I hope it tastes the same. We shall see. But I did go ahead and pick this up. It's the Hidden Valley Original Ranch Thick and Creamy Dip in Fiesta Ranch. And it says best served chilled. This was not in, like this was with the dry mix packages. So this is shelf, this is shelf stable. That was really hard for me to say um, until you open it. But we'll go ahead and put that in our cooler and get cold. And then I got some Fritos bean dip. My husband loves this stuff and we rarely buy it. So it happened to be next to this dip. And I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and just get it. So I got the bean dip and then I saw that they had jalapeno cheddar and he really likes spicy things. So got both of those, one can of black eyed peas that I'm going to be doing something with. And then I got a pack of the crackers that my kids really enjoy. So there's 36 packs in there and it's got a variety. Let's see, you can't see that fourth one, but it's peanut butter on sandwich crackers, peanut butter and jelly on sandwich crackers, cheddar, well, they're all on sandwich crackers, cheddar cheese on cheese, and then peanut butter on cheese crackers. So like I said, my kids enjoy that snack and that's something quick and easy to take with us for all the kids that are gonna be there. I am out of powdered sugar and I need that for a recipe, so I picked up a bag of that. Back there behind the cheese crackers are three packages of the white Kaiser rolls and there's six in each. And that's what we're gonna use for sandwiches for lunchtime. Then we come over here and we've got some dairy items. So again, normally I shred my cheese, but I'm just taking this. <laughs> so this is a pre-shredded Mexican style taco cheese blend for the taco night. And then like I mentioned, we are having sandwiches. I have already, I have turkey already that we bought at Sam's. So I just picked up some ham as well. So we can take that. Got the Deli Fresh, Deli Fresh Oscar Mayer smoked uncured ham. And then a lot of cheese. I like, what are they called? Dagwoods, I think. When you like mix a bunch of lunch meats and a bunch of cheeses on a sandwich, I love doing that. So I always, whenever I know we're having sandwiches for lunches, I pick up lots of different kinds of cheeses. So I got some Munster cheese, some Pepper Jack cheese, some mild cheddar and some Colby Jack. So that'll be super yummy on sandwiches. Then speaking of sandwiches, sort of, I went ahead and picked up some Lunchables. I could not reach. They were like so far pushed back that I wanted to get three of each, but I couldn't reach and there was no one, the store was pretty bare. There was no one around that I could ask for help. So I might try to look for um, one of each of these at another store before I go as well. But I got three of the turkey sandwiches and the Lunchables, the uploaded ones. We love these because they come with water and then like, a side, like a salty and a sweet treat. So went ahead and got three of the turkey and cheddar sub sandwiches. And then, like I said, I wanted to get three of each of these as well, but they didn't, I could not reach them. I ended up being able to reach two of the ultimate double cheese deep dish pizza. So you can see there it comes with the, the salty and the sweet and the water bottle. And then I got two of the nachos, which doesn't come with a salty because there's already chips. That's the main part of the meal. And then a sweet by the fruit, fruit by the foot. Paige is out of a couple of her um, a vegan items. So I got the butter, country crock plant butter with avocado oil sticks, and I'm gonna be making some things for her. And then her spreadable butter by Earth Balance. We've got some fries. So I picked up the great value crinkle cut fries for us to have when we have hamburgers and hot dogs. And then I'm going to be meal prepping these golden crispy crowns into a breakfast dish. So that is what those are for. And I saw these, Does the other side show? Yes, right here. 
So this is berry cherry and raspberry. There's 18 in there and they're minis. I thought that was nice, just a small little cool treat for the kids. And then I saw these, so I went ahead and got six of them because my oldest daughter um, will not want to eat one of these, but this is the cotton candy itty bits. So I did go ahead and pick those up. I'm not quite sure yet if I'm gonna take them or not, but I know my kids will enjoy them regardless. All right, I went a little crazy on the taco stuff because we don't have any. Originally I was gonna do walking tacos, but since we're at a lake house that we're renting, I really don't want the kids to be walking around with, you know, their dinner. And if they don't want to put their taco stuff in a bag of chips, I figured I would have plenty on hand and then we can always have taco night every Tuesday for like the next month, if depending on the leftovers <laughs> that we have. So I picked up three different options for the kids. Again, just making it fun, especially if we do get rained out or something. These are the mini soft tortilla bowls. There's 20 in here. Then I got the Tostada shells. There's 12 in there. And then I got the stand and stuff shells. So, and there's 15 in here. So like I said, we're only having tacos one night. So I know that we will have leftovers to bring home. All right, these are two things that I picked up. Well, one thing, just two of it. For my oldest daughter, she loves just black cold brew. Sometimes she'll put almond milk in it, sometimes she doesn't. So since we're on the go, I went ahead and picked up two of these for her and they're just the Starbucks cold brew black unsweet premium coffee drink. And then sticking with the coffee, um, last time I ordered some online through Amazon and we are almost out. I typically drink one cup a day, but I swear the last two weeks I have been drinking like two cups. So we're definitely going through more coffee than we used to. I needed to keep track of that. I don't know if there is a Keurig or a K-cup machine at this lake house, but I'm gonna check before we go and just in case I have some that won't be open that we can take with us. And if not, we have a Keurig here, so we will use these. So I got the flavored ones because I love flavored coffee. This is the Caramel Cream. There's 12 in there and it is the Great Value brand, which is Walmart. And then my husband, likes the basic, original, like no flavor added kind of coffee. So I got him the Folgers Classic Roast for him. All right, another quick, easy lunch item for the kids. I got the Uncrustables. I was looking for, I know they have some with Nutella in them, which my daughter Rose would go bonkers over. And then when I told the kids that I was gonna try to find Uncrustables, Bryce asked if I could find the one that has honey and peanut butter. I know they have those somewhere. so. If I do end up going to another store to look for a couple other items, I might look and find those also, but these are great. You just keep them in your freezer until you are ready or like an hour before lunch because you do want to thaw them. Do not heat them up. That's gross. They do not taste good. Um, we have tried that before when my kids were being impatient. So that was a lesson learned for them, but I did go ahead and pick that up and there's 10 in there. All right, another convenience item. I went ahead and got Pop-Tarts for a quick, easy breakfast while on vacation. There's 16 of the frosted chocolate chip cookie dough in this box. And then this box, I got the blueberry because my oldest daughter does like to eat these. So there's 16 in there. And I'm actually going to try to make homemade Pop-Tarts that are vegan as well. There's no milk or dairy or anything like that in them. But just in case they don't turn out, I wanted to get some that she could eat as well. So those are the Pop-Tarts. And then sticking with a kind of vegan or my oldest daughter theme, these are some of the things that she requested and likes. I did get her one of these Core Waters. This is one of her favorite brands. And then I had her go online she actually, she actually sent me two, but they only had this one. So I'm gonna be looking for another quick option for her for lunch while we're on vacation. But she asked for this Amy's Chinese noodles and veggies in a cashew cream sauce. So I'm glad I found that one. I actually got the unsweet coconut milk because I need this for a recipe. This is one of her favorite go-tos for chocolate plant-based milk. So I picked that up for her. And then some treats for her at the lake house. I got her the hippies in the vegan white cheddar, just a small like to-go bag. I got her the Terra original sea salt real vegetable chips. And she does have braces, but she does indulge in popcorn sometimes, not a whole lot but I did go ahead and get her this four pack of the Boom Chicka Pop with sea salt. There's no butter or anything like that on them, so she can enjoy those. Okay, making our way back this way. I'm trying to reach over everything. I found the lemonade concentrate that I was hoping to buy in bulk, but they didn't have it. 
to make the Dole Whips, the lemonade Dole Whips again. So I got two of the lemonade and then I got two of the pink lemonade. I think that is gonna be so yummy. And then I also got some more coconut milk because I do use a can of coconut milk. So I got two of those. Okay, I just happened to see this. Let's see, I was, this was on my list. <laughs> the Z-Bars and the iced oatmeal cookie because all four of my kids enjoy this flavor. So I did, we are completely out. There's 18 in there. And then around those, I saw this and my daughter Pearl loves llamas. <laughs> I thought that this would just be something fun and different. I don't know if I've ever picked up a Quaker um, granola bar before. If I have, it's been so long. So there's 10 in here and you can see they're llama, rama, granola bars with a fun candy coated chocolate chips in them. So I went ahead and brought those home. Then to go with the bean dip, I got Fritos. And can I reach, originally I picked up the party size of the original ones. Then I saw this one and again, my husband loves spicy stuff. So I got the smaller bag so he can try those and they are the same thing, they're scoops, but they're spicy jalapeno. We'll see if he likes those. Then I am making two different kinds of salsas. So I got a big bag of the party size scoops. All right, hiding back here for my oldest daughter, she likes ciabatta rolls. Those don't have any milk or dairy products in them, so she can use those if she wants, but I know that she loves ciabatta rolls. So I picked these up for her, not just for at the lake, but for here as well for her like plant-based hamburgers, so she can enjoy those. And then I think I got everything, but last but not least, the cereal. This is just super convenient to have for kids when you're on vacation. I got two different packages because they have different kinds of cereals and hopefully they won't go through all this either that we'll be able to bring some home and over the next week or two, they can enjoy the rest of the cereal. But there's eight in each. This one is boxes. This one is pouches, like little bags. And you can see the different cereals in the bags and then in the boxes. So these are all Kellogg's brand. And then these are, are they all General Mills? I think they're all General Mills. So those are gonna be super convenient for breakfast on vacation. All right, you guys, and that is it. So now I need to put it all up. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you join our community. I will be posting on my Instagram little bits and pieces of our vacation, but I will not be vlogging. I really enjoy just hanging out with the family and not pulling up the camera all the time. So I'll just take pictures, maybe little video clips. So definitely make sure you are following me on Instagram. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you in the next one.